Hi guys, it's Wednesday evening, it's actually 7.26 in the evening or if you want military time or 24 hour clock time it's 19.27 because it literally just clicked over 24th of May, it's my mum's birthday on Friday so I will be over there Friday I think my stepdad's planning a barbecue uh, I'm actually going to answer a question that I get asked quite a lot actually regarding these, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I had Cat's Custom Trikes pop up today. She rode a bicycle here that um, it isn't free free. Um, what I've got to do or going to do, I'm going to um, when I've got her PC here, I'm going to um, basically rebuild it. Well actually I'm going to do what I think is going to be needed. I'm going to um, because I don't know what specs it's got, I don't know what size hard drive it's got, I don't know what processor it's running, I don't know what. All I know is it's got six gigabytes of RAM, I don't even know if that's DDR, DDR2 or what, probably DDR2 because it's running Windows 7. They're pretty much the only two details I know. It's running Windows 7 and got 6 gigabytes of uh, RAM. So, I'm going to get her computer here. I'm just going to pretty much look it over, see what it's got, see what processor it's got and whatnot, and uh, decide the best course of action there. I can build it into a new case, although I don't really have any super duper decent cases but um, she's not that fussy she's like me she really isn't that fussy so long as it works and does what it's got to do I don't think she'd really care how it looked like I don't think she'd care if it sat in a cardboard box <laughs> it wouldn't do the computer parts a lot good sitting in a cardboard box but that's the sort of person she's like Is that a little... no, that's a so she's left that, it's a lady's mountain bike, she's left that out back, I've got to go and lock it up, if no one's ran off with it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Uh, knowing me, probably flog it, although I don't want to because I feel like I'm being cheeky. <laughs> I really do feel like I'm being cheeky if I did that. Um, but I know Mum wanted one at some point. I don't know if she still does, so I'm going to ask her. It's all in working order. I could do with a clean because the um, V brakes are chrome, but they haven't rusted beyond cleaning, surprisingly. <laughs> so I'm going to take some steel wool to them and just clean them up. Why change them if I don't have to? Because I'd only change them so I they. I'll only change them to make it look a bit cleaner and tidier. But for the sake of a little bit of steel wool, I might as well just clean them up. Um, I put a straight bar in her racing bike and put you know all the necessary brake levers and whatnot on. Changed the back tyre. I've got a rear one on the bike up here, but it's rather bent out of shape, so I'm not really willing to use it. <coughs> the one I put on her back wheel isn't brilliant but it's better than the one that was on there um, I've actually ran out of those types of tires I've got one slightly smaller so I can change the front one if she still wants it changed or I can give her a couple and she can change them herself it's up to her I don't mind was it 27 by one and a quarter on the front how about that for memory but yeah, I couldn't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> I'm sure I've got selective memory. I remember some things and not others. Anyway. Uh, what else did we do? I don't think we did anything else to that bike. Oh, she did take the stereo I gave her months ago. It's been sitting under my Lego table. <laughs> along with the speakers and a few other bits uh, uh, yeah 
I'm still itching. I can actually feel in places I've got heat bumps. My body really doesn't like the heat. I love it. I personally, I love the heat. You know, I love the good weather. I love going out in it. And, but my skin just really seems to hate it. Anyway, a question I'm gonna try and quickly answer before I turn the video off and continue this video tomorrow. And just quickly, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I had planned to go to Chroma. But one, I'm not sure I can still be asked. And two, I'm not sure what Mum's doing yet until she rings later. Anyway, I've been asked several times by various people and friends, why do I collect these? <sighs> I've always had a thing for lights. You know, when I was younger, my bikes were always full of bike lights. I actually remember one of the bikes I had, it was stolen many years ago, but it had four lights on the front and four on the back. Um, so yeah, I've always had a thing for lights. I don't know why. Actually, I think I do know why. Because you can create different sort of moods in a room, if that makes sense, by using different lights. Because, um, for example, my spotlights up here completely light the room up differently to, say, if I had a standard British pendant light on the ceiling, you know. I just find all sorts of various lights interesting LED lights, incandescent bulbs because I've got all those light bulbs in the cupboard and whatnot, and those bloody great strings of lights that I rescued from uh, the skip when the town council were having their clear out. But uh, these are, um, well it's an unusual item really isn't it, you know it's not something that's common to collect, like um, the Lego, for example, that's quite a common hobby, or die cast cars, that's another common hobby. Knitting, uh, collecting perhaps collectible figurines, vinyl figurines, or collecting plushies, you know, soft toys, there's people out there that like to collect them. I like collecting these all shapes and sizes and for different jobs and whatnot. That, and for some reason I've always had an interest in roadworks equipment like this. Lamps, cones, that's why I've got 60 odd cones in the shed, including one up here which is over there. <laughs> Still, I haven't, I haven't cleared the shed out enough for me to get the cone on the stack down there, so that's why it's still up here. Because the stack I need to put that blue one on is right to the back of the shed. You know, there's all sorts of... There's so many different designs of these. You know, just in the UK alone. Then you've got designs from other countries. If you're willing to spend on the postage. <laughs> that does tend to sting you, especially from Australia. There's a... Another one from a German company which has gotten quite popular over here and I can't fault these to be honest. It's quite a robust plastic body. I do believe that is a JSP cone bracket though. Which actually seems to fit this perfectly. It might not be. Maybe the cone bracket doesn't seem to be branded. It's got some sort of code there, but I can't see a brand on it. It's just... Then you've got different colours for different services. Red, here in Britain, is usually used by the railway and airports. I've also found out that red lights are used on um, the motorways to signal um, road closures. Which I didn't know, but then again, I'm 
don't live near a motorway anyway, so it's extremely rare that I travel on one. Actually, I don't think I've travelled on one. It's got to be for at least 15 years. And there's the sign lights. The ones that they hook on top of uh, Rideworks signs on the motorways to light them up. And it's just all sorts of the ones that are used by the emergency services. Which reminds me, if my friend has posted it, I don't know if he did, but uh, I've got a blue uni flash coming. As part of a trade, I've got to post mine off tomorrow as well. If I don't do that, if I do decide to go to Chrome, I'll probably do that when I get back. And if I remember, I'll go and pack it up tonight. In fact, I've got two boxes, because it's cheaper to do it that way. I mean, um, he is sending me... Actually, I might just do it as one box and post it via Parcel Force. That might be the easiest option. Um, because I've got big enough boxes, you see. But uh, I don't mind paying the postage because, like I said, we're trading for one light for one light and I'm sending him a few freebies as well and he's sending me a few freebies too so I don't know if he's put the laptop in this box but there is a laptop he's letting me have uh, some traffic cone sleeves there's actually a rear bicycle light I'm sure I'm forgetting something he's putting all them bits in for free so I don't mind paying the extra postage on a bigger box from the stuff I'm sending to him. Uh, so yeah, I'll get that done tomorrow. In fact, I will later go and grab a box from the landing and uh, box them up. I think I've got three lamps and a partridge in a pear tree. Lamps. Oh, and some lamp heads. That was it. I think that was it. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off because I need to go to Littles. Uh, I think that's it. And I'll continue this vlog tomorrow. So the next time you'll see me, it will be Thursday. So see you in my next segment. Okay. Welcome back. I had planned to start this segment tomorrow, but slight change of plan. I'm not going to go to Chroma because, pardon me, um, Mum's going to be uptown really early in the morning, so I'm just not going to bother. By the time we're finished around town and whatnot, I just won't bother. I'll have a walk around town. I might even, if I'm feeling up to it, take the camera with me. It's a very hot Thursday afternoon. In fact, it's just gone 20 past 3 in the afternoon. And last time I checked my app, we are... Well, according to this, the little bit, well, it says 24 degrees centigrade there, but I bet if I click on it, it's going to say 23. No, it is sad, 24 in North Walsham. And for our American viewers, that translates to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I know, probably, probably not that hot to a lot of Americans, especially those in areas like Texas. And I really can't think of any other hot states <laughs> off the top of my head. Um, but I have, I've got some friends on Facebook from Texas and they always say, you know, how it gets up into the triple figures in Fahrenheit. Anywho, 
Mum did come this morning with stepdad. They've um, bought the supplies for the barbecue, which is now going to be on Saturday. So Mum's birthday is tomorrow, but we're having the barbecue party Saturday. Um, when she disappeared, I went back into town. I went around the charity shops and had a look at my favourite market stall. And I bought four packs of these at a pound each. 48 in total because there's 12 in a pack. Um, those handy little things when you're playing around. And when I'm testing things, especially if I'm using, you know, like some well, that sort of battery contact, I could just clip the wires on and then go and clip it to like, I don't know, if I want to test a dynamo light, for example, I just clip the wires on the dynamo light. None of this bearing off the wire ends and then wrapping it around the terminals. And so that's why I got those. I've got some wires I'm going to make such leads up with. But yeah, I've got four packs of those at a pound each. I've got another one of these back scratches. I don't know how good it's going to be for a pound, but probably as good as the other one. But it doesn't have a rubber grip on the end. It's got that. I've got a pack of gel pens from Lidl's as well when I was in there, but I think they're in the kitchen. And uh, You remember them blue torches I bought a couple of weeks ago at the car boot? And I gave one to Cat's Custom Trikes the other day when she was here. Look, I performed a magic trick. I've got two again. <laughs> This one was on his one pound table. Well, actually, there's a lot of stuff he sells there at a pound, but no box. It was just as it was. And again, well, I bought it because these are actually pretty good um, bright torches. So I've got a spare one, if anything. But I really bought it just for that. Because I want to use these in my road lamps with um, rechargeable D cells in them. But these adapters are a lot more than a one pound on places like eBay so that's pretty much why I grabbed these torches just for that because um, batteries like that will range from anywhere well two pounds fifty in my QD up so instead of keep buying those every time mine go dead because I've played with my lamps too much <laughs> all my torches for that matter because I've got torches that run same batteries. That's better. This one's totally dead and I'm going to open this one up later. Somehow so we can have a look inside. Well I know what's inside. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not even the tingle at all. Not even the dinky little one. Dead. Uh. Well, as you can probably see, my arm looks like a red boiled lobster. Look at that. It doesn't look that red in real life, but for some reason on the camera, my arms are coming up really red. Um, well, as you all know, I've got psoriasis, and uh, one thing I've noticed, my arms don't itch nowhere near as much as my legs, but then again, my arms are always in the sunlight. My legs aren't, they're always covered, as is my back. Which is another advantage about keeping my shirt off. So, to help with my legs, I've been out and bought three pairs of shorts. Oh, this one has got a pocket. That's good. Because uh, I don't actually possess any, so... Instead of buying crap for my collections, I went and bought something useful. <laughs> Must again through the wash. So I've got them blue ones, I've got some green ones, and some. Uh, I don't know if they're denim. No, I don't think they're denim, but they're like jeansy sort of things. How do you like these ones? Got back pockets, front pockets, zip. I just got to hope I can get them on. 
I think that's all I've bought today, to be honest, so far. <laughs> I really don't feel like going out yet. I've got to wait for that temperature to drop, I think. I haven't got to go out, I've got plenty of drink. Uh, now I'm going to get some groceries in. I do need to get those in. Oh! I did buy Sing. That came out on DVD this week, obviously, because I've got the DVD. Um, good movie, the animation quality was brilliant. It did make me laugh quite a few times. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it. A good family watch. But then again, I could be a little bit biased because I do personally like to watch animated movies. Always have done. Well, it's the evening. And, uh... I've been making <clears throat> one second. Right. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying. I've been making test leads with those alligator clips I bought or crocodile clips as we used to call them when I was at school but I've just got to make a little adjustment to them to get me wires on because I've got to get through that tiddly little hole no, I'm not naked. I'm actually wearing shorts. I'm wearing a pair of them shorts. Um, as odd as it may sound to some people, I'm actually having to get used to them. Um, I haven't worn shorts since I was at school. <laughs> I'm now 33, so... Um, plus... One of the uh, one of the characteristics of autism is getting used to change or not liking change. It's probably one of the reasons I stuck to jeans. I've never really worn any other type of pants other than jeans. What was that like? I could see a light reflecting in my window, and I couldn't figure out what it was. There we go, I've just been making up some various uh, test leads, see? I say various, they've been various lengths, you know, I've got a couple of really diddy short ones. <laughs> yeah, when you're autistic, you can get set into a... Um, In a routine, I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But it does mean, you know, when change comes along, you... Uh, <laughs> some of us, obviously it depends how far or how bad you have autism. Or, and you know, I don't like saying that, how bad you have autism. Um, how severe it is doesn't really sound much better, does it? <laughs> um, will depend on how you react to change. Um, so yeah, all them years of uh, wearing jeans. Uh, I think I'll get used to this though. Whoops. Well, I'm going to have to get you. Where the fudge did that come from? I just looked on my desk and it was there. Ah, it may have got caught up in cables. Ah, I found it. 
came off my little Lego boat here. Which, I've still got to do a review on that. Oh, change of plan yet again. The party is on for tomorrow. Um, reason being, my sister's got to do a late shift uh, Saturday, so she's going to need the sleep. These ones are my longest ones, and yes, if you notice, I've used um, a fairly thick cable. The only other option I had was speaker cable, and I didn't fancy using that. Not when I was going to be sticking, you know, power down these. <laughs> quite a long one. I just decided, you know, having a, f a few different lengths would be um, useful. Because otherwise I've found, you know, when I'm trying to test things with a, like one of them six volt batteries or something, or even another battery pack, twisting the bare wire around a contact's just a pain in the ass. But now I don't have to do that because I've got a bunch. Yeah, I could make shed loads more up as well. I think I've got another two boxes of these. And I've been doing them in pairs as well. You see, there's a pair there which are roughly the same length. Right, chuck on that up there. Some of them, though. Got these little screw contact down there, terminal. Some of them are threaded so that screw just goes round and round in a circle. It's not a problem. You can solder onto these. I did do it with um, one of these leads. It was one of these grey ones I did it on. It was this one actually. Right in there. In the blob of solder. That's, um, it works, but it's pretty damn fiddly to get in there. Um, and it's a, a lot more time consuming, I found. Or just as time consuming, I should say, as, uh, you know, just using the screw terminal. So I just opted for the screw terminal in the end. But uh, with them ones, if I, I actually know that if I have to solder onto them, I can. Just put the little insulator on. They're only cheapies. I mean, you can get these on eBay for the same sort of price I paid for these. So. In fact, my stepdad bought a load. He's still got a load that he bought on eBay. Exactly the same crocodile clips. Ooh. I got these out of uh, Lidl's today. Gel pens. I don't get it. I'm the only person that live in this flat and my pens still go missing. I don't know how many is in the pack. Three, four, six, because I've got one over here laying on the desk. I think they're like one pound and nineteen pence. Does that mean the pen's made from recycled material or the box? Actually, finding these shorts rather comfortable. My legs haven't itched nowhere near as much, if at all. So good for these shorts. Right, camera needs a charge, so I'm going to do that, and I'll return tomorrow when I get back from Mum's. Good evening. It is now Friday evening, nearly 10.15. I spent 
most of the day at Mum's as it was her birthday. She's now uh, 58 years old. I know it's bad that I had to think of that. Now, I've got a box. The first thing I'm actually going to do is pull this off because that's my address. There we go. <laughs> right. Should we see what's in the box? I know what's in the box. I'm quite excited to uh, be opening this. Traffic cones. Ooh! And a couple of smaller ones. So I've got the larger ones, and I can't remember, I think they're the 750mm ones. I've got a few that don't have them, so. Same with these little ones. I've got some 500mm cones that don't have any. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I knew there was a couple. I've got a draper body. I don't actually have a draper, but I've got the body there. <laughs> Bicycle light. Good old classic. Is that an Ever Ready one? That is an Ever Ready. And the blue one. Now, I have over here got you got a battery pack here with um brand new batteries so I presume it goes in yeah just like all the others like that should be an arrow on the lens somewhere there it is there we go it does work Thank you very much, King Cone. And uh, King Cone should receive his parcel Wednesday. That's when I was told in the post office, anyway. Right, so. He is very close to the um, till door in this one. Even the lens is the same. <laughs> I've got ideas for that one. Quite bright flash. Then again it would be, it's meant for daytime use as well as night use. Right, let's move to the PC. How many sleeves? I've got two 500 mil. One. Found another 500 mil one. There's three. <laughs> they're hiding inside each other. I think they're all the same. Yep. Oh, that one is a. That one looks to be a little bit. That's a Starlux. Ooh, from Melba. Oh, they are all Starlux. And those two are anyway. What's this one? Is that Snow Rocks as well? Yep. 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 That means at some point, I've now got to go in the shed and uh, stick these on. So, again, thanks very much, King Cone. I hope you get yours at, at when they say it's going to arrive. I wonder if that works. 
just grab a couple of D-cells, go over to the table and have a look. Didn't really need the bracket, I've got loads, but a spare never hurts. Right. I've literally not long been in the door. <laughs> literally. <clears throat> oh. Right. And I've been wearing my shorts that I bought. See? I mean, what, I've had a heck of a lot comfortable. All, all round. I haven't even sweated as much, so. Oh shit. Right. One that way up, that one that way up. Come here, you bastard! <laughs> right. Yay! Do love these lights. Got a front one in white, the actual body plastic I mean. And to um I'm gonna go on eBay see if I find the front one. Right. I'm also just gonna chat a little bit about computers because I've been talking to my brother again. Now he's definitely gonna have that four gigabyte stick off of me. However, the computer he wants to put it in is dual channel so he has to have a RAM stick in each so once he's got that I'll be able to have the um, DDR2 memory back which I'll probably stuff in another computer and get it sold so whenever he's got that I have also decided that with my Lenovo and this is what my brother's recommended because he said the processor in that one even though it's still got four cores like my AMD, apparently the i5 is a hell of a lot better performance wise. So, I'm either A, going to put the motherboard from the Lenovo in here, once I've got an SSD, or put it into the other case I've got, that I've got off my brother and uh, build that one up. Hmm. I'm actually leaning towards perhaps putting it in this one. Because I do want to upgrade this one and keep this going for a little bit longer. Um. So I've got 20 quid in my bank at the minute, so I was actually thinking of going to find a, uh, probably something like a 120 gigabyte SSD or something. I'm not even sure 20 quid is going to be enough. We'll see later, but that's the plan for my computer. Because um, this has taken, ever since the update, this has taken even friggin' longer to boot up now. Um, but... I upgraded this for Windows 7 when they were offering the free upgrade when Windows 10 first came out. Um, and this was pretty slow to boot. Not slow to use, but slow to boot. Even when I had Windows 7 on it. So nothing has changed. In fact, it's, like I said, the boot time's got a little bit slower. So I'm not sure if that's just... You know, the OS could do with reinstalling because I've got all sorts of crap on here that I've put on over the years. Or if there's, you know, some bad sectors on the hard drive causing it. It could be anything. So I figured... I've got an Intel motherboard there. Which can take up to 16 gigabytes. If I can get the other slot working. Because I would have, you know, the other 8 gigabytes here, so I could max it out RAM-wise. Don't know if the processor can be upgraded to anything else other than an i5. I haven't looked that far into it yet. 
but uh, we'll see. Besides, I actually like this case anyway. Yep. Nope. Decline. It's one of them bloody spammy account things. I want to be your girlfriend type accounts. Yeah, I didn't think it would. So it's not a problem, buddy. King Khan has just messaged me because he's got a laptop for me as well. And he's just said, just to let you know, the laptop didn't fit in the box, so I'll post it separately when I can. Yeah, that's fine. In your own time, buddy. I'm in no rush. Uh, da -da -da -da. See any other messages? I've got another friend of mine coming up tomorrow morning. Oh, my memory card is full. I've got two minutes left, apparently. In that case, I'm going to shut this down and uh, finish what I was going to say once I've emptied the memory card. So talk to you in a bit. Right, that's all that footage transferred. Might cut some of it down when I edit this. But uh, what I'm doing at the minute, because I want to do something different and I want to practice with that soldering iron, so I've just found a couple of cheap electronic kits, 99p, free postage. Yes, it's coming from China, but He's got pretty good feedback, so, and I'm not going to spend too much. I've only bought two circuits so far, so it's only two quid, little under, but if we round it off, two pounds. So, I'm literally just browsing his shop to see if I can find any other kits, or anything else that might, you know, tickle my uh, fancy. Hello, uh, no, what's that? Actually, I'm only interested in kits at the minute, so... I think I might just search his shop for, uh... Electronic kits. Actually, it's been a bit sexist saying his, isn't it? Because it might not even be a he. It might be a female that runs it. Anywho, let's have a look. That's one item I'm buying, the audio level indicator, although I might take that out and actually get a couple of those. I just basically using red and green LEDs, you know, and I'll flash up and down with the audio. I'll make some up and I was going to stick them over there. Right, well, I'm going to end the video, I think, before it goes on too long, because I know this is going to be quite a long video. Anyway. Uh, I've got a friend coming up tomorrow. I've got to look at his brakes uh, on his bike. But apart from that, I don't think I'm doing a lot tomorrow. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye. Bye, rather. My voice went for some reason. Anyway, bye.